Nihali, also known as Nihali or erroneously as Kalto, is a moribund language isolate that is spoken in West Central India, in Madhya Pradesh and Maharashtra, with approximately 2,000 people in 1991 out of an ethnic population of 5,000. The Nihali tribal area is just south of the Tapti River, around the village of Tembi in Namar district of Madhya Pradesh. Speakers of the Nihali language are also present in several villages of the Buldana district in Maharashtra such as Jamad, Sanbardi, Kuvardev, Chalthana, Ambavara, Wasali, and Chikari. There are dialectal differences between the Kuvardev Chalthana and the Jamad Sanbardi varieties. The language has a very large number of words adopted from neighboring languages, with 60 to 70 percent apparently taken from Korku, 25 percent of vocabulary and much of its morphology, from Dravidian languages, and from Marathi, but much of its core vocabulary cannot be related to them or other languages, such as the numerals and words for blood and egg. Scholars state that less than 25% of the language's original vocabulary is used today. There are no longer any surviving monolingual speakers of the language. Those well-versed in modern Nihali are likely to speak varieties of Hindi, Marathi or Korku as well. For centuries, most Nihali have often worked as agricultural laborers, for speakers of languages other than their own. In particular, Nihali laborers have often worked for members of the Korku people, and are often bilingual in the Korku language. Because of this history, Nihali is sometimes used by its speakers only to prevent native Korku speakers and other outsiders from understanding them. Research into the Nihali language Franciscus Kuyper was the first to suggest that Nihali may be unrelated to any other Indian language, with the non-Korku, non-Dravidian core vocabulary being the remnant of an earlier population in India. However, he did not rule out that it may be a Munda language, like Korku. The Endangered Languages Project surmises a relationship with Kusunda, Ainu, and the Andamanese languages, as part of Joseph Greenberg. S. Indo-Pacific hypothesis. Kuiper suggested that Nihali may differ from neighboring languages, such as Korku, mostly in its function as an argo, such as a thieves. Kant. Kuiper's assertions stem, in part, from the fact that many oppressed groups within India have used secret languages to prevent outsiders from understanding them. Linguist Norman Zeed describes the recent history of the language as follows. Nihali's borrowings are far more massive than in such textbook examples of heavy outside acquisition as Albanian. In this respect, says Zeed, modern Nihali seems comparable to hybridized dialects of Romani spoken in Western Europe. Zeed claims that this is a result of a historical process that began with a massacre of Nihalis in the early 19th century, organized by one of the rulers of the area, supposedly in response to marauding. Zeed alleges that, afterwards, the Nihalis, decimated in size, have functioned largely as raiders and thieves who have disposed of stolen goods through outside associates. Zeed adds that Nihali society has long been multilingual, and uses Nihali as a more or less secret language which is not ordinarily revealed to outsiders, and that early researchers attempting to learn the language were, apparently, deliberately rebuffed or misled. Some Korku speakers refuse to acknowledge the Nihali as a distinct community, and describe the emergence of the Nihalis as resulting from a disruption of Korku civil society. The Nihali live similarly to the Kalto. That and the fact that Kalto has often been called Nihali led to confusion of the two languages. Phonology Lengthening of vowels is phonemic. The vowels e and o have lower varieties at the end of morphemes. Nasalization is rare and tends to occur in borrowed words. There are 33 consonants. Unaspirated stops are more frequent than aspirated stops. External links Audio sample of Nihali language References